Right now at 5 o'clock, a Dollar General store in Speedway is closed because of a number of safety hazards. As CBS 4's Courtney Crown reports, safety and security is an ongoing issue at Dollar stores all across Marion County. Signs posted on the Dollar General store on Cunningham Road and Speedway let customers know it's closed until further notice. An emergency order posted on the building shows the store must immediately clear their exit ways, store combustible materials safely, and find their storeroom's fire extinguisher. We spoke with the Indianapolis Fire Marshal. Speaking for Indy, Division Chief Michael Beard says officials only temporarily shut a business down for serious issues. Life safety. Our main concern is life safety. If there's a reason that we cannot operate the business and keep the occupants safe, then that's the only reason that we usually shut someone down. Reasons can include an alarm system or sprinkler system not working. Otherwise, IFD gives a business 30 days after a visit from their team to correct safety concerns. We just want to make sure that the aisleways, especially the egress aisleways out of the building are unobstructed and unblocked. Uh, you want to make sure you give enough room for your occupants to vacate the premises. While IFD deals with safety of businesses, IMPD tries to help companies like dollar stores increase their security measures. We give them suggestions and ideas how they can reduce um, th them possibly being uh, the victim of a robbery. Try to have two or more employees when you close and open the store. Uh, make sure your business is well lit inside and out. Uh, try not to block um, the windows with, you know, for sale signs. Ultimately, it's up to the companies to decide how they will correct any safety and security concerns. Uh, we're not here to shut you down. We're not here to make you lose money or, or patrons. We're here to work with you. In Marion County, Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News. Courtney, thank you. Dollar Tree and Family Dollar say they are committed to a multi-million dollar security system upgrade for their stores, including those here in Indianapolis. Officials have not commented on their plans for these temporary store shutdowns. I